The people first culture is defined by building a brand that customers and employees will admire. However, it can extend beyond that. Yeah, no, if the leaders look after the employees, the employees will look after the customers, and then the customers will look after the revenue. And that's kind of the way it trickles down, which is nice. What I want to talk to you about is, of course, there are lots of ideas around, you know, a customer first culture or an employee first culture. But the term you use is people first culture. So when you say the word people, this is going to sound like a stupid question, but what do you mean? Anyone that interacts with the brand. <clears throat> Traditional customers, uh, employees, the community, uh, vendors, the media. Um, within the book, I, I the people first culture is defined by building a brand that customers and employees will admire. However, it can extend beyond that. I'll give you an example. Um, Within our business being hospitality, it is made up of a lot of employees and a lot, of, hopefully a lot of customers. But what about the people that serve the business that are extraordinarily external to the organization? Um, I sell alcohol and steak and, and all that. So who are the people? You, you like that, right? It's, it's a pretty good product to sell. Um, <laughs> you, know you, like your IP, you like your IPAs. I remember. I, I do noted that um the in the company that sells us our meat supply that helps us actually do our service and our uh, deploy our product is instrumental to our success sure we pay them but why must we have this mentality that we should only serve people that benefit us? Why must we only serve people that pay us? That is something that I've instilled within our management team is that anyone that interacts with our brand is to be delivered the best experience possible.